What's up Hoopers, this is Coach Alex from Think Pro Basketball and in today's video, we're gonna go over how to beat defense and get by your defender. Let's get started. All right guys, well like I said, today's video is gonna be about beating the defense and how to get by your defender. All right, so let's get right into it. Let's talk about a few things. Right now, we're gonna say that we're here. We're out on this perimeter position. We're being guarded by my man Guy right here. Guy is guarding the ball and we've got Buddy here in help. Okay, so those are two things you have to be thinking about anytime you have the basketball. Obviously, you're worried about your defender who's guarding you and how they're playing you, but you also have to be able to read help defense. There's four other defenders on the court that are also trying to st help stop you from making a play for yourself or making a play for a teammate. All right, so let's put Buddy right here. Buddy's right here on the elbow. He's in help position. So as an offensive player, if I'm reading this situation, let's just say everybody else is on that side of the court. So we got a guy in the corner and on the block and on the other wing. Right? So there's no help defense on this baseline. Would the best thing to do be to attack this area here? It could be, but we have a help defender here who's gonna stop you from driving to the basket, which would make you force a pass out to an offensive player, to a teammate, which they could get a shot there, but again, there's help defense on the other side of the court. Or would the best option be for us to attack here and put the pressure on the defense where there's not much help and now everybody's got to flow down, right, with you. So now if you do make a pass out to the perimeter, now everybody's got to go from the momentum shifting towards the basket back out to the three-point line. Right, so we always want to be thinking about obviously our defender in front of us. How are they playing us? Right, we'll get to that later, but right now we're focusing on the help defense. We've got to be able to understand how this defender is playing us. How are they in help? What are they doing? Are they there to help stop the drive or are they guarding a shooter who's up here? Okay, so now if the situation is this, where this defender can't help too much just because there's a shooter at the top, because if they were in help and I drove and I make that easy pass, shot, knock down, easy money. But now if that defender's up and they're taking away that guy right there, now we can go either way because look at this big gap here. Now we can get into the teeth of the defense. We can get all the way to the basket. We can make a play for somebody else. We have both options to go when driving the basketball. All right, so it's all about reading the position of the defender that's in help. Okay? If you're a great player, you can do that. You can worry about your defender and you can worry about the help as well. All right, so like I said, if you're a great player who can worry about your defender and worry about the help defense, you're going to put yourself and your teammates in the best position possible to be successful and to make the right plays. Okay, so now let's talk about both defenders. Let's talk about their positioning and what that means to you as a basketball player handling the ball. Okay, so we talked about the position of the help defender. If they're here, that means they're helping and they're waiting for you to drive the basketball, which means we probably don't want to try to go that way even though this defender may force us that direction. We want to try to go where there's no help, where we can put pressure on the defense. So that's the positioning of that help defender. We don't want to go that way, we want to attack them here. Now we have to be able to focus on what our defender is doing to us. So like I said, they're probably going to try to force us to that help which means if I'm in this position as a defender, I've got you shaded going that way. So I've got my top foot up, blocking this baseline side, forcing you to the middle where my help is as a defender. All right, so that's what we're facing right now. So we have to be able to check out the positioning of both defenders, the help defender, but obviously the defender that's guarding us. How are we going to defeat them? How are we going to get by them in order to be successful? So if Guy is here shading me that way, how can I force him to change his weight from going this way so he bites here and opens and allows me to go this way, right? Well, I gotta use my footwork, I gotta use my patience, and I've gotta use my decision making in order for that to happen. So 
So if I've just got a pass from the guy at the top, boom, I'm here. He jumps in to help. I'm reading him. I see my defenders forcing me this way. I don't want to go there. There's too much of a crowd. I'm not going to be able to make the right play. I'm not going to be able to make the play I want to make. How can I do this? Boom, I'm here. Let me shift his weight. Let me get him leaning. So I come with a cross step. He jumps this way thinking I'm going to drive. And I go with a hard rip back towards the baseline where there's no help. I can get to the basket, and if the defense does collapse, I make a simple kick out pass to anybody out on the perimeter, game over, okay? So you have to be able to read that positioning against your defense. What are you seeing? What is gonna allow you to make the right play? And in this situation that I've illustrated for you, we've got help taking away your drive, your defenders forcing you that direction. What can you do to get towards, towards the baseline where there's no help to make the right play? So I'm gonna show you in full speed what I'm talking about, using my cross step to get my defender to shift and lean this direction, and then come back with a hard low rip, low rip by him, an extended dribble to get to the basket. All right, so let me show you that in full speed. We'll come back and we'll talk about a little more on what you should be looking at from the defenders to help you beat the defense and to get past your defender. When it might stop, Christ coming back soon, make the sky pop. Writing on the wall, and I put that on my life. Weight of the world on his back, homie, that is light. People wilding over text, I am not the type. First time he came back, it happened overnight. Hands folded, I'm praying to the sky. No one got can hear me, I wait on his reply Even on the day when I don't hear nothing I know he's plotting something, and that's why Keep it coming, I say Alright guys, now the last little quick point I want to make is to be able to read the hands and the footwork of the defense. So we talked a little bit about their positioning and how if they're shading you and forcing you one direction. That's the footwork part of it and also the positioning. But being able to read the hands of a defender, so this is more of how to get by your defender. So we've talked about how to beat the defense, reading the defenders that's in help. Are you going to go towards them? Or are you trying to go away from them to put more pressure on them? Now when we're worried about our defender, we obviously have to worry about their positioning. Where are they at? Are they close? Are they far? You know. So if they're closer up, this is going to give you an opportunity to blow by them. If they're farther off and they're sagging off of you, that's when you make them pay using your jump shot. Now their footwork, if they're angling you one direction, you're forcing you to the help or forcing you towards the baseline, that's the footwork part of it. Now their hands. If a, de a good defender is going to try to mess with your dribble, meaning there's a hand down here trying to disrupt your ball handling that you have going on. So if you see this action here with the hand down low, you want to use a high rip, right? So instead of ripping that ball right to where that hand is, you can just rip over the top and extend by that defender. Now if their hand is up trying to contest the shot, now you can use your low rip to create momentum and your forward progress to get to the basket. All right, so I just want to show you a couple of different ways right there. So we're going to be focusing on our rip series to help you get by your defender. Okay, so if we haven't used our dribble, we have a live dribble. What rip are you going to use? And that's all determined upon the hand on where that defender's at, right? Are they low? We're going to go with the high rip. Are their hands high? We're going to go with the low rip. So I want to show you the low end, the high rip, just to help you get by your defender because that's important. Because after you read the defense and where they're at defensively, where the help is at, where they're coming from, now you have to get by your defender, okay? So we've figured out and we've read the defense and where they're at position-wise on the court. Now we gotta get by our defender to put the pressure on the defense to try to go score at the rim, get to a pull-up jump shot, or make a play for one of our teammates. That's important. That's important to get by our defender, so that's why I'm gonna show you the low rip and the high rip right now in full speed, and we'll come back, we'll recap the video, but right now check out the low and high rip in full speed. I 
Hoopers, where there's some tips to help you beat the defense and then some tips to help you get by your defender. Be patient, be smart, make the right decision so you can make the right plays. Now, what I need you to do is click the like button and also leave a comment. Let us know what you think and what you want to see down the road in the future so we can continue to do what we love by helping you take your game to the next level. And what's also going to help you do that is to click that subscribe button and join Think Pro Basketball. Check out all the great content that we have to offer on our channel to help you take your game to the next level and improve your game in so many different areas. Now it's your turn to hit the gym, hit the court, practice on everything we've talked about throughout today's video to help you read the defense, beat the defense, and to get past your defenders. So until I see you again next time, remember to always keep hooping.